I've gotten a couple requests to do this burnt maple burst guitar finish. I've got a wildwood tele guitar body here. This is a nice piece of maple. It's just not wide enough for a full top, so I had to glue on some wings. It's got some really nice deep figure, but it's not consistent. So I'm going to do 50% of the leather dye in jet black and 50% in brown. And as it goes on, it's going to look totally black. But as I start sanding back, the brown will show. This burnt maple finish really was interesting. I thought they would do the black first and then the brown. Uh, but I know using two colors sometimes can really lead to some interesting combinations. So this black and brown go in really thick, real heavy. And we'll let this soak in. We'll put in about two coats of this on the front and the back. Again, this is an open back telly. It's an inch and three quarter. Standard telly size. Uh, just trying different techniques to get a little bit simpler, use a little bit less wood. But we'll get this nice and thick coated with this black and brown. And then we'll take my Ryobi sander here with some 240 grit sandpaper and we'll just start going slightly across the top and pull off some of that color and see what happens. So you can see as I begin to sand back, you've got that great figure all over the place. And then we'll come back with some light brown here. So the Angelus has a couple different shades of brown and this is a light brown I didn't really like the way this turned out. It's way too light. It gets that really odd sort of brown and black look, which I didn't like. So I go back and I add some, some black dye to this and just dab it on this cloth and now begin to rub it in. And so now I've got that really dark edge. And it's looking pretty good. So what I do is I, I take that rag and I went outside and just soaked it in some denatured alcohol to really thin out that mix. And so I leave everything the same, but I just take that rag and sort of rinse it. And that allows me to really fade this out without using any more color. So while it's still wet, I get some 800 grit sandpaper and begin just sanding it out a little bit. The line was a little bit too hard there on the right side. And so I do some sanding and some coloring to get it to sit right. Then we'll go ahead and spray with the sanding sealer. And once I've got the sanding sealer on, I'm going to come back with some true oil. And so we put about two coats of sanding sealer on. And then we'll put two coats of true oil on here. And I don't want this really hard shine. I don't think that that looks all that good. Um, what I'm going to do is, is put the two coats of true oil on, let it sit, you know, let it really seal up the body, and then we'll come back and hit it with some boiled linseed oil. And I've got some 800 grit sandpaper here again, and we're going to just soak in that sandpaper. And here we're going to knock down that sheen and get it more flat in terms of coloring there to be less sheen you're going to see the the brown and the black really look outstanding really happy uh, again with the way this turned out you got all the different figure shooting out everywhere and i left the back black uh, but as i start sanding here i'll get a little of a worn look so it'll look a little aged slightly with the coloring and what the boiled linseed does is it knocks down uh, any highness and it sort of just smooths out the body everywhere. And so then this is outside. Really neat coloring. You got the black on the outside and the brown in the center. And then here's some overexposed pictures to see how it looks. But again, really happy with the way this turned out. Some jet black and brown. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next vid.